Kungsaren. I'm starting the hike in Kutjok. It's about five more kilometers till we turn from the Kungsaren and go into Sarek. So we still have about five more kilometers of this to go. We're approaching the turn into Sarek. Probably about another 10 kilometer hike until the Sami village of Parak, and after that, we, we officially enter Sarak National Park. And we're still on the trail, and we're heading in the right direction. There's the Parta Massif right over there. We're going through there, across that river, and like this, through that pass. And here is the first river crossing. This is cold water. It's good for drinking, it's not good for waiting. We have to get up about a hundred meters above the tree line. Or actually, right after the tree line, we have to cross quite a big river. And now we're off trail. Skorska, Skorska. Или слушай, по книжке наверх надо идти еще, но, но там просто я увидел эти ущелья и я честно обоссался. Я думаю, надо перейти ходить, когда можно.
Че? Ботинки хрюпают. Ну. Все мокро. Oh, we're heading into the mountains now. We finished this river crossing. So, we have to go up. And we're heading towards the bridge that crosses the river, which I heard there's no way to cross without using the bridge. We're gaining elevation now. It's quite grassy and we still have probably about two to three hours until the bridge. Uh, we're at an altitude of about 13, 1400 meters and this is the terrain we have to follow. There's no path. So we still have quite a way to go until the bridge, but it is what it is. Oh shit, we have to ford this river now, but then we have to go up quite a bit. Trying to find a good spot for to ford this. Seems like this one's okay. It's quite slippery, but I'll make my way across. It's time for lunch. ago it was a whiteout. Now we can actually see where we're going. get out of this plateau and no idea where we're supposed to go here if we're supposed to cross the snow bridge or there or that way so this apparently is the river and it's a much more pleasant to walk on this than it is on the on the rocks over there it's quite stable So we're just gonna follow this until it becomes a river and we're gonna get off of it. And at that point, it should be the bridge. This has everything. Snow, mountains, rocks, streams, rivers, no people. No cell phone reception. So we have to follow that river down to the bridge. Wish I had crampons for this. Shit. The easiest path is along the river on both sides is a bit of a rocky canyons so we kind of have to crisscross the river and that seems to be the shortest path and here so here the bushwhacking starts to go through this willow and underneath the willow is a bunch of swamp There's the Rapa Delta, right over there. So this isn't a, a tent, which I thought it was from the 
from far away. This is actually a reindeer hut. It's one of a few which are built in Sarek specifically for reindeer herding for the Sami, which still practice reindeer herding as a way of life. So let's take a look inside. Oh wow. Oh, this is nice. There's no light here, but this is definitely an emergency hut. There's a table. There's a, I don't know if you can see it. There's a bed. There's a few places for... You know, in case something goes wrong. There's a stove. There's probably some, some firewood as well. Bye bye reindeer hut. I have just a little bit left to the bridge. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Вот здесь посередине как раз самое то. Shit. This is the willow which nobody likes. You have to hike through this. I just saw the bridge. I can't make it there. There's no path. See? You have to bushwhack your way through this. of glaciers that way that's one of the ways to cross the server doesn't look too bad though it looks like it's, you can cross it normally just with waiting shoes five kilometers down this valley and after that we take a left into Luliavag Даже не ели, сейчас. 
Это все, мы вообще оттуда пришли. Жесть. Ай, надо идти, пока не замерзли. Trying to get to Sarvas Vaga now. We have to cross this ford. It's quite deep, quite fast. And I have to get over there somehow. Sarvas Vaga. Little half a dollar. It's day four. We're still in Sarves Vaga. We just met a, a German guy who has a, a Garmin. And they sent the weather report that the next few days are actually going to be sunny. Today it's still windy and rainy, but tomorrow will be better. There's a Luch de Lacta, the plateau over there. It's a shame that I won't be able to go to this time. The weather yesterday just made it impossible to go up. So we had to go down into this valley. It's a bit windy. It's a snow bridge. Going there. Что что? Ну да, вот я так пойдем. I'm crossing the snow bridge in this valley to get to the other side. Get to Algebra. Sarvas Vaga. Over there. Algebra is up there. It's a hail storm now. We have to get past this and that's it. No more going up to the top of the valley. So good morning, we're almost ready to pack. Just gonna give you a quick view of how it looks outside.
куда идти. Ну, думаю, прямо протоптано все. После дождя это тропа, это просто ручеек. встретили только что да, мы, короче, встретили интересно очень странного чела он шел такой весь типа налегке сказал непонятные вещи что ну, лев говорит что он пришел там сначала сказал оттуда потом оттуда в общем он шел с у него заканчивалась еда он сказал что он потерял карту а еще у него нет газовой горелки он пользуется дровами вот и четыре и... дня дождь идет да четыре дня дождь идет короче он сказал, что он три дня ест холодную еду, то есть не подогрет, видимо, просто водой разбавляет или что, я не знаю. Вот. И, короче, выглядел он очень стрёмно. Он такой весь, ну, как бы спортивный, но какой-то стрёмный, странный. Я что-то, мне стало жалко, я ему дал один пакет 150 грамм еды. Но, да, чел какой-то странный. Но... Очень странный. Надеюсь, что он не был каким-то серийным убийцей.
climbing up on the back that's quite steep it's right there this is Rapa Valley вот мы попали на вершину и вот такие виды Тут хотя бы тропа есть какая-то. Смотри, уже типа за день уже больше всего. А, ну, ну, ну. Мы еще пару дней, но я думаю, может даже квикек уже будет. Мы там придем, и там уже желтый типа будет. Да. Вообще периодически какой-то запах, ты знаешь, ну, какие не появляются. Ну, не какие, знаешь, животный запах. Ну, сто процентов. on the bottom once you get below the clouds.
So we finally reached King's Button after <coughs> eight days of rain, hail, wind, and fog. Пятек. Вот такая. Надо к ней как-то привыкнуть. Хоть уже не воняет. После того, как помыл. Вот мы после трех дождливых дней решили а, все-таки остановиться где-то, где было можно. И вот так вот сушим наши вещи с костром. На улице, кстати, впервые за три дня выглянуло солнце. Но там все равно мокро и сыро. Все вещи для спаня, они мокрые, поэтому спать в них не вариант. Завтра уже можно будет. Вот тут у нас еда, кофе. Ты за свою не даем. Возим к парку, где мы башки в сарок с другой стороны. Все, 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 все